Welcome to Retro Crunch, everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1-6 scale Dragon's Lair X Replicade that's made by New Wave Toys. Now this arcade's been pretty much over a year in the making, and if you've been a member of this channel, you know that this is one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm anxious to take a look at it. So I was actually very excited when I found out that New Wave Toys was going to be making a 1-6 scale replica of the Dragon's Lair arcade. Growing up and playing Dragon's Lair in the 80s, I was in total awe when I first came across this arcade. I think I was eight or nine years old. This thing cost double what a regular arcade would cost to play back in the day, but it was still awesome. You could spend all of your lunch money really fast on this one game, so it was really important to remember each scene of the game if you really wanted to make it very far. There was over 200 different move selections, and it could take a long time to remember. A perfect run on this game, I think it took about 12 minutes, and I've only seen one person in my entire life complete the whole game on a full-size arcade, and it definitely wasn't me. This was the first game that I remember coming on Laserdisc, which interestingly enough, they had a full-size arcade disc player that was crammed into this arcade, but at its time, it was state-of-the-art, and who? at a young age didn't want to play an arcade game that was essentially like playing a cartoon. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at this 1-6 scale Dragon's Lair that was sent to us by New Wave Toys to review right now. Uh. <laughs> um, there we go. Turn this over on the side. This is what it looks like. Oh, it looks like it's wrapped in cellophane. Get this box out of the way. Don't need that. But what we do need is my Rambo knife. So, looks like I'm gonna have to do a minor cut. So I don't wanna damage it, but let's go ahead and do a cut to just be able to get into there. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn it over. Oh, uh, let's find out where the... Okay, here we are. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Flip it over this way. Looks like it has a couple things that actually came with it. Um, has a little baggie. Open this up and start breaking into here. Let's get some of this material out and take a look at it. Here is the Dragon Slayer instruction manual. What I like about this manual is this Dragon Slayer um, artwork that is on here is the actual artwork from the 1983 arcade instruction manual. Also, New Wave Toys provided us some coins to go with the arcade. Now, these are to represent 25 cent coins, but these are a lot tinier than actual quarters that you might remember. But there's two sets of 50 cents, so you can play a couple games on this arcade before you need to go back to your change machine. We also got a USB cable, so you can actually hook this up to USB and to the mini USB on the arcade itself, so you can charge it. You might need to get a power bank of some sort, or something like one of the charging stations that New Wave Toys sells. But anyway, you should be able to charge your arcade up with this just fine. Alright, so we finally got it out of the box. I uh, love the detail and the artwork here on the front. I love how these light up, so your coin returns. The marquee, oh, that's awesome. It actually lights up. The artwork on the side, that's uh, pretty awesome. I remember that from 83. Here we have some detail on the back. We'll go over these uh, in a little bit. And again, here is the other side of the side art. And it looks like it uh, brings up the screen for doing your coin return. That's awesome. So anyway, let's take a closer look at this. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. On the coin return, this is for how many coins you want to add up or put in so you can get more lives. And this one is actually for the menu. I love the artwork that they have on here along with the marquee and the buttons. Wow, they, they just feel so much like the original. They're very uh, sensitive. They're easy to push. Um, and they're actually a little stiff, which I really like. I don't want them to feel too, too loose. Now the joystick controller, it moves very, very easy, but uh, it has a stiffness to it and it's made of metal and plastic along with this one over here on the right side. And then if you look in the back, you can actually see that it has the player score 
it has your coins it has your credits i really like that it has two different screens on this arcade game on the back we have the actual speakers that are part of this unit we have the on and off switch the volume which if you turn it up it'll go pretty decently loud the charging station on the right and USB 1 and 2 which are for external controllers and in the middle there is a HDMI port for being able to hook up a TV if you want to play this on a big screen and then here at the bottom this is where the actual laser disc is now once we pull out the cover we see that it actually has a laser disc model 3 in here you might be able to see it uh, you might be able to tell what it says right there if I turn it around on the back, you can actually see it has some drawings on the back. And then if we open it up, of course, there is the Daphne laser disc in there. So you can actually play the game and it comes with their remote control as well. So if we take this and we close it up and we put it back in here, we can put it in the arcade. Don't want to forget the remote, of course. And then you're ready to start playing the game. When we turn it on, we have the actual splash screen that comes on. And then following that will be the Replicate, bleh, Replicate Amusement Presents. It says Digital Leisure. And then it should roll right into the game as it does Dragon's Lair LLC. I'm anxious to kind of see what this looks like. This is a uh, 4.2 inch screen. I believe it's 4.3 uh, aspect ratio. And there we go. Let's see if I can turn the music up a little more. Again, here is the scoreboard up here. We have this screen right here. Your player one, your player two. There's your sword. And there's your other sword button. And of course, the joystick in the middle. Let's go ahead and put some coins in. That's the sound of the coins. Let's load it up. And then let's hit one player and let's see what this does. Okay, it's been a while since I played this. The one thing about this game is it takes a lot of practice and the memory skills that it takes to play this is amazing. As much as I really do love playing this game, this game can be very hard. Now there are over, or I believe there's about 200 different levels or scenes for this, and it's really hard to memorize all of them, but it is really fun to play. If you can actually learn to memorize all of the different levels or different scenes, you can actually do pretty well. I also believe it takes about 12 minutes to be able to actually beat this game. So if you were to get all the way through it without actually dying, it would take you probably right around 12 minutes to beat the game. Something else that I wanted to show you guys was there's actually a menu screen. So if you hit the uh, second button over on the right, which is the coin return on the right, it'll actually bring you to this menu. You can actually change the screen brightness. You can go to the game audio and you can change the audio on it, the attract uh, mode audio, the dirts per credit. So if you want to get a lot more dirt so you can get further in the game, if you're still learning it, you can turn the marquee on and off. Difficulty level, um, probably good to play it on easy till you get used to the game because it gets a lot more difficult and it speeds up the joystick sound. And of course, screen blanking, which uh, in the original arcade, the screen would blank. So the, uh, the game was able to have the time to be able to select the different um, options. And if you hit back to the, or you hit menu again, I'm sorry, it'll take you back to the game. I'm actually pretty impressed with this 12 inch Dragon's Lair Arcade. I will say the joystick and the buttons are kind of small and I thought that my hands would uh, get in the way of playing, but I was actually able to play pretty well and I didn't have any issues with that. So that was definitely a plus. In fact, I was actually worried that the screen might be a little bit too small, but as it turned out, this really was not a problem and the screen is actually very clear. And I really like the scoreboard that is uh, up here at the top and there is a lot of extra detail there as well. 
New Wave Toys, they really went the extra mile on this. They put a lot of detail in it and people might not even notice some of that detail, but that gave it a really authentic, nostalgic look. The audio, let me turn it up for a second so you can hear it. I really did think that the audio was, was probably loud enough. Now there's two speakers that are in the front, but they're non-functional. The actual speakers that work are in the back. But even though when I was playing it, I could hear the audio, I didn't really notice too much that it was coming from behind. I absolutely love the accessories that came with this arcade. The box art was really good. Um, it had that small set of coins, the Princess Daphne sticker, the Pioneer Laserdisc player, that was amazing. Came with that really small Daphne Laserdisc and the remote control, that was very cool. It would have been cool if there was a secret menu that you could have played on this Dragon's Lair. I would love to have had the Dragon's Lair trilogy or even Space Ace, that would have been really cool. But with all that said, I'm really happy with this arcade. I thought it was easy to play, it played very well, and I definitely felt like I was a 10 year old kid again. If you happen to be interested in purchasing this Dragon's Lair X Replicate from New Wave Toys, I will post it in the description down below so you can get to their website and purchase your own. The cost for this is $120, but I wouldn't be surprised if closer to the holidays, you might see some kind of special for this cabinet, maybe at a later date. I did feel that the price was a little bit high, but there is a ton of detail in this, and I don't see any other mini replicas on the market that even come close to the amount of detail that this one has. I do wanna again thank New Wave Toys for sending me this replicate to take a look at. I love Dragon's Lair. It's one of my favorite arcade games of all time. And let me know guys what you guys thought about this in the comments down below and if you think that you might be picking one up too. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Dragon's Lair X Replicade. I'll catch you on the flip side and remember if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.